In a world without humans, most of Northern Europe would probably now be home to creatures such as wolves, moose, bears and elephants. This is according to a new study which argue that without humans damaging ecosystems, most of the world would resemble the Serengeti. As part of the research, scientists have also released a world map of where animals are likely to live if mankind had never existed. The research, by Aarhus University in Denmark, suggests that the fact Africa has such a high density of mammals reflects past human activities rather than anything to do with its environment. The team based their results on estimates of the natural distribution of each species according to its ecology and the current natural environmental template. Northern Europe is far from the only place in which humans have reduced the diversity of mammals, it's a worldwide phenomenon, says Professor Jens Christian at Aarhus University. And, in most places, there's a very large deficit in mammal diversity relative to what it would naturally have been. The current world map of mammal diversity shows that Africa is virtually the only place with a high diversity of large mammals. However, the revised world map constructed by the researchers in this study shows far greater distribution of high large mammal diversity across most of the world. In particular, it reveals particularly high levels in North and South America, areas that are currently relatively poor in large mammals. Most safaris today take place in Africa, but under natural circumstances, as many or even more large animals would no doubt have existed in other places, said lead author Dr. Sarin Furby. For example parts of the New World such as Texas and neighboring areas and the region around northern Argentina southern Brazil. The reason that many safaris target Africa is not because the continent is naturally abnormally rich in species of mammals. Instead it reflects that it's one of the only places where human activities have not yet wiped out most of the large animals. The existence of Africa's many species of mammals, they say, is not due to an optimal climate and environment, but because it is the only place where they have not yet been eradicated by humans. The current high level of biodiversity in mountainous areas is partly due to the fact that the mountains have acted as a refuge for species in relation to hunting and habitat destruction, rather than being a purely natural pattern, said Furby. An example in Europe is the brown bear, which now virtually only live in mountainous regions because it has been exterminated from the more accessible and most often more densely populated lowland areas. The researchers claim the latest can provide an important baseline for nature restoration and conservation.